Hey guys, what's up? It's Cecily, and this is This Week in Rideshare News. Go. It's been a busy week in Rideshare, and we like busy, don't we? This past week, Uber cleared up what might have been an IPO roadblock. Well, it's a cute way of saying that they settled that lawsuit that's been hanging around for the past six years. Filed by Lisa Reardon. She's pretty much taking on all the gig economy cases. (laughs) <laughs> She's pretty popular. An attorney that sought to reclassify Uber drivers slash independent contractors as employees so that we could be reimbursed for certain expenses like gas and mileage and insurance. Many were saying that this particular case that's been around for a very long time may be a roadblock. Hmm, I wonder why. <laughs> More to come on this, right? San Francisco airport traffic is so bad that they are offering discounts to riders for meeting your driver in the garage. Airport officials say that there are an estimated 1,200 drop-offs and pickups per hour. And as this number started to grow initially, they were charging riders $3 to be picked up or dropped off curbside. That price was increased to five dollars so san francisco airport said hey guess what you guys can save three dollars if you walk yourselves over to the garage that's how bad it is another note they said that the ridership for the bart the bart is like the subway train system there has actually gone down and they lost four million dollars last year from what they say is because of the homeless folks on the train no i'm gonna tell you what it is the homeless folks are the only people that can't afford a ride <laughs> A ride in an Uber to the airport. Really, the rides are so affordable that people are willing to pay a little bit extra for the convenience. I'm curious to see if offering this $3 discount will actually help the traffic. I personally don't think so, but I like the idea of that. And I think that Uber and Lyft should consider offering discounts for riders to meet drivers in more appropriate places for special events. Please, please think about doing this in other cities. This week's feel-good story is a Uber driver who actually foils a cop's attempt to entrap an Uber driver. They're trying to get every other Uber driver. They're trying to get every other Uber driver and Lyft driver right now. This guy actually said that he was flagged down by two undercover cops. They wanted to offer him money for a ride. He says no, but somehow, some way, they cited him anyway. He sees another driver about to go through the same thing, walks over there with his camera, and tells the guy, hey, they're undercover cops, and dude drives away. I do have a link to that video. That guy's shower name anonymous because he might get in trouble for it. But I just thought it was so cool that he was willing to stay there and to look out for a fellow driver. And it's just a reminder that you cannot accept trips from people that do not summon you through the Uber or Lyft app. You will get a citation. You could be arrested. It's pretty serious. And it's kind of sad that a lot of people don't know that or people are desperate enough to even try it. I thought it was awesome that this guy got this all on tape. Uber is looking for a solution to stop Uber drivers from gaming the system with cancellation fees. We all know how hard it is to make money on the app and some of them have gotten so desperate that they cancel at will just to get that five dollars. While we all know that it is necessary to cancel on people, people don't show you're in the wrong place. Okay, I feel like those reasons are valid. This is what I want to understand. How is the software going to know if I didn't just cancel to make the five dollars or I cancel because I have to use the bathroom? As a driver, I'm a little bit concerned about this because I feel like a independent contractor, you have the right to say, I may not want to take this ride. You know what I mean? For whatever reason, uh, aside from it being discriminatory, I feel like at certain points, you may not want to take a certain ride. And I think that you, everyone should have a few cancellations in their system. And I don't mean like the app, I mean like in your soul. I think as an independent contractor, slash driver partner that we should be able to cancel at will there are multiple reasons why i think that you should be able to cancel and i think that there's no app that can actually or accurately monitor that if you're canceling just to get five bucks it's not working for you and you need to find another hustle what are your guys' thoughts? Let me know what your comments are. If you're not subscribed to the Rideshare Guys channel, please take time to do that now. I'll wait.
Okay, you done? Good. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and let us know what you like about it. This news program, I like the way that sounds, is strictly for you. I'm bringing you guys news that serves the rideshare community. So if you're hearing about something that we all need to know about, please leave that in the comments as well. Reach out to Harry if you need to. You guys can also contact me on Drive Girl Drive. That's my YouTube channel or you can hit me on Facebook. It's been a pleasure hanging out with you guys and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.